Hello and welcome to my garden and the dinosaurs who live there. Well, I've only gone and done it. I've done my first potato harvest. So this video is a bit of a potato reveal so that you can see the, the fruits of my labour and the yields that I've got in my first set, my first sown potatoes, which are estima. And this also ties in with the potato experiment that I'm doing this year uh, because I'm growing my potatoes in pots and I have been uh, changing the fertiliser in certain pots so that we can see hopefully the effect of what you use to fertilise your potatoes uh, with the yield that is produced. So I have to say I'm disappointed with my overall yield in this first set of pots, um, unfortunately. I think I've probably been a little bit early in harvesting them. Uh, they went in on the 1st of April and I harvested them the 30th of June and I also managed, uh, these pots were at the back of the sea of pots that I have with potatoes in and um, I've maybe not been watering them or getting the water to them as well as I should but that's all my excuses <laughs> uh, but you know, I've got a yield, I've got plenty of potatoes for me and um, there is a bit of a difference in the three pots where yield's concerned uh, because I've used different fertilisers in them or hope, perhaps due to the fact that I've used different fertilisers in them. So let me show you um, what I got up to a couple of days ago harvesting these potatoes. It was blowing a gale. It was miserable. I don't know whether it will come, that will come across completely in the videos but um, some of the time I can't actually talk on the video because it was just so windy. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me show you how I got on.
Okay, so I've had to come indoors because it's so windy outside, I just couldn't be heard. Uh, but this is the Estima that was in compost with no additional fertiliser. And um, the seeds were sown on the 1st of April. And it's the 30th of June today, so that's in effect three months so less than it should have had so I've not got great yields in any of the three that I'm, uh, sets of potatoes that I'm going to show you but I was desperate to harvest and um, I think it's interesting just to see just to compare the different uh, yields with the different fertilizers that I've used so no fertilizer no fertilizer used in this one and Okay, and so we have a grand total of 12 ounces, so not even a pound of potatoes. And if we have a look, there's quite a lot of, a lot of smaller ones. So I think if I'd left it another month, which, or at least another couple of weeks, um, the yield would have been much better. But this is just an ordinary uh, garden compost without any additional fertiliser added. Okay, so here we have the crop from the pot that had the garden compost plus comfrey chopped up through it. And if we have a look at what we have here, we have one pound, four ounces. So certainly more than the compost on its own. And actually the potatoes are um, larger. There's, a, there's less small ones um, and quite a lot of uniform size ones. So yep, yeah. again, the actual Weight um, and and the yield isn't fantastic, but it you know it's it's only been it's been three months and I think probably I would have preferred to keep it a bit longer, but I just couldn't wait, so it's more involved. <laughs> okay, last of the three. He, here we have the yield from the pot that had the the compost and potato fertilizer, and again they were. There's Colin just walking by. Hello, Colin. <laughs> they were sown. 1st of April and this is the 30th of June. And we have dead on a pound. So poor show in all three, but um, we can see that there is a difference in yield from the lowest yield, which was the compost without any fertiliser. Med medium was this one with the potato fertiliser and the best yield. And I have to say the most uniform and reasonably sized potatoes were from the pot that had comfrey chopped up through it. Now, not a huge difference, but there is a, a recognisable difference between them. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what we have so far. And we'll see when I start harvesting some of the other potatoes that had comfrey um, as the fertiliser in, we'll see if we reflect the, the same results in those. Yeah, so that's us. Um, I've now got a few pounds of potatoes to, to eat, which is nice, and I'm sure they will taste lovely. These are Estima, and uh, yeah, I really look forward to eating them. Thanks very much for watching. I am humbled by the, <laughs> the yield that I got there. Uh, not fantastic, but um, at the end of the day, there was only a couple of little potatoes in each of those pots, and I've got lots of potatoes as a consequence. So, what's not to like about that? Thanks very much for watching. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments on uh, uh, how you go about it and how you make sure that you get decent yields in your potato pots. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye for now.